Hello and welcome to our third video in our game project. What we're going to be doing today is create the ball and create the interaction with the blocks. Make sure that they get destroyed and that it can bounce off of the paddle. So let's go back to our project and we're going to create another array list. And this is going to be for the ball. And we're going to use the block class again. And so here we'll add the first ball to the array list. And we're using the array list so that we can add some more later. And so we're going to add the first ball to the array list. So ball dot add new block. And so this one is going to be centered in the middle, right on top of the paddle. And the width and height will be 25. And we'll use this image ball dot png. And so we'll use the same for loop. This time we'll use the other array list. Going to run it. And so the ball is on top of the paddle. And now we need to create the animation for the ball. And so we'll go to the block class and add an integer for the movement. actually two of them for the X and Y. We'll set these to some defaults. So our X is going to be 3 and our Y is going to be negative 3. And so in our update thread, we'll create a for loop for each block the A in ball and so we'll update the X coordinate so plus equals the A dot DX and we'll update the Y coordinate in the same way. Alright, so the ball just launched and left the screen. So we need to set some restrictions. So if ba dot x is greater than the width, so get width minus the size, and we'll create an integer for the size, which is the size of the ball. So that would be 25. And ba dot dx is greater than zero. or ba.x is less than zero. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to change the x. So we'll multiply it by negative one. So ba.dx times equals negative one. And we'll do a similar thing for the y direction. So we'll get the y coordinate 
y is less than 0. Or the ball intersects. So this is the function I was talking about. So if the ball intersects the paddle, we are going to flip the y direction. Same way, multiply by negative 1. And so let's test that. Okay, and so we have the ball moving around, but not destroying any blocks. Okay, and now that we have that set up, we'll make the ball destroy the blocks. Okay, and the first thing we'll do is we'll create a boolean variable in the block class, and we'll name this destroyed, and the default is going to be set to false. And in our update function, we are going to check to see if the ball intersects. And so we need to check all the blocks in blocks. So for each of the blocks, we are going to check if the ball intersects with the block. And also we need to check if the block is not destroyed. So if the block is not destroyed and it intersects with the ball, we're going to destroy it. So B dot destroyed is equal to true. And we're going to flip the direction of the ball. Then in here we need to make sure that it doesn't get printed. So if destroyed, if not destroyed, we draw the image. Okay, let's test that. Hmm, looks like it's just going to the box, so let's see. Make sure. Just one update here, we're supposed to set this to negative 1. I'm going to test that. And it's destroying and bouncing off the blocks. So in our next videos we'll cover um, some fine tuning. We'll have some power-ups and some other controls with the paddle.